Hey everyone, today we are going to be doing a quick deck tech and uh, a couple games over the next couple of videos with this deck, which is a red, white, and green Winota deck. And we also have green for ramp. So this has a bunch of new cards from the new set, a couple of these two ofs, one ofs, basically trying out a lot of new cards with a lot of different ways to get them out onto the battlefield. You get those enter the battlefield effects and kind of get some recursion going on. It's a very mid-rangey deck. Uh, over on the low end of the curve, we've got a little bit of standard kind of green color ramp. We've got some Jaspera Sentinels, some Tangled Florahedrons. And then over in the two drop spot, starting our white, we've got Charming Prince, some flexible uh, variety enter the battlefield effects. We've got some Magnas. Uh, these are also sort of a ramp card. Whenever they get tapped, they can uh, create those treasures. We've got some Prosperous Innkeepers. Again, more of these treasure, more ramp. Also with some of these flicker effects and uh, instant summon effects that we're gonna go over in the right hand of the curve. We also just get a little bit of incidental life gain. One of the next new cards we've got here is Ranger Class. So create a wolf, add one one counters, and a little bit of card advantage with that level three on the class. We've got a little bit of removal, some spell binders for a little bit of tempo, bone crushers for tempo. These Minsks, a new card, super cool. You can kind of create these one ones and then later we can turn something else into a much bigger creature with all of that ramp that we created and kind of combo out for some damage with a big trampling creature through this token or just make something else big. Got a couple chariots to get some more creatures on the board. Winota to get some of these cool human kind of combo piece types of cards. We've got Historian, great kind of mid-range classic magic, just attack with creatures card to give us huge advantage in trades. We've got this new card, Drizzt de Urden. I don't think I pronounced that right. It's got double strike. When it enters the battlefield, it creates another token. Any of our big stuff, we get to make this creature grow. Over at the top end of our curve, we've got a turn timber symbiosis, which lets us grab a bunch of creatures and put them onto the battlefield. And then we've got pretty standard lands with the addition of a den of the bugbear from the new set, which lets us uh, create some more tokens and a Lair of the Hydra, which also becomes a creature. So you're starting to see the pattern here. This is a creature's deck. We're playing mid-range, a little bit of combo finisher, very spicy brew, very cool new cards from the set in here. In the sideboard, pretty straightforward. We've got Burning Hands from the new set. This is good, again, we're just bringing this in against anyone playing green anything. We've got Fire Prophecy for a little bit of extra move removal against things like Mono Red or things that have a lot of three health creatures like Rogues. Another Spellbinder for Control. We've got Clothuses and Oxes of Agonos for Control or anything with Graveyards like Rogues. Red Cap Melees for the Omnipresent Mono Red matchup. Rolling Vortexes for Control. Redane for anything that's good against, which is things that play Snowlands, decks like Blue-Red Dragons, and a Crow and Wars for mid-range mirrors. Anything grindy that where we're gumming up the board, just steal a big creature and you're looking a lot better. Let's get into some games. Floridor. We're missing our white mana, but I think that's fine. We have some time to find it and plenty of tempo on the way there. When it goes to six, and looks like we're playing mono red. Probably looking to bone crusher this turn two, and we'll see what turn three holds. We might be ramping if we don't draw our third land. hold this up until the last moment, see if we can uh, bait out another Rimrock sort of card. Here I'm actually going to Bone Crusher the Rimrock Knight, it's a little bit bigger. Take an extra point now and save some damage in the future. 
we draw our third color. I think we're gonna play out our Bone Crusher Giant. Turn four, we might do something like play one of these as a tapped land and ramp, or play this as a tap land and innkeeper, and we get frostbitten. I think we're gonna play out our boo here, our Minsk. We could attack here with our haste creature, but we're not going to because they could block it with Faceless Haven. Interesting play, if you were to use something like uh, that, that three mana red card that steals an, opponent, an opponent's creature for a turn, you could use x equals zero to kill it. Our opponent's got no mana to cast something like an Ember Cleave. I think we trade the land here. I think we Winona and attack with Boo to trigger Winota. Opponent's last card is a Faceless Haven, looking pretty solid for us now. Our opponent doesn't block with the Fervent Champion. Seems like a bit of a misplay. I think we block the Hall Monitor. If he has something like a Frostbite to trade, then that's fine. Yep. Now we play out our Blade Historian, and things are looking scary. Oh, we don't have enough red and white mana. Let's ramp out a treasure token. Attack with our creatures, and then I think we hold up Bone Crusher Giant. We might be able to trade this plus the Stomp for the Faceless Haven, something like that. With the Innkeeper plus... Uh, these two, next turn we can play our Blade Historian. Robber of the Rich. I think we attack this. We uh, stomp that pre-combat to prevent the trigger. Six, seven, six, seven, eight. 910. That looks like lethal with our Blade Historian. And we move on to game two. Really solid matchup for Mono Red. We've got lots of ways to deal with them. Bring in our Red Cap Melees, our Fire Prophecy. I think we cut some of these Magdas. I don't really see us playing those. Maybe we cut a Chariot. I like all these early game cards, and I want to try out the, the Drizzed. Be sure to like the video and subscribe down below. Trigger the bell as well. New videos every day. Good hand. We've got plenty of interaction and a little bit of mid-game things to play into later. Make sure to play our lands in a way that lets us play all three colors. I think we play this out right away. And we get stomped in return. Play our third color, and let's ramp a little bit. We are in no hurry. We're going to play our Fable Passage here, start filtering out some lands, because we're starting to flood. We're going to Fire Prophecy this, see what card we can draw. We're going to ditch a Crag Crown thing. Let's just attack with this and hold up a Stomp. Looks like our opponent's missing a third land. And we're just going to Stomp. He gets to kill my uh, Ramp card, but that's okay. We don't mind that at all.
share yet. Sure. We can play this out. We can upgrade our Ranger class. Then I think we crew the chariot. And attack. And pump up the chariot. I think I misplayed there. I shouldn't have attacked with this other with this cat. <laughs> That's okay. Next turn, we play out our innkeeper and we start just generating cats in life. Or we just play out Winona. Let's crew on Winona. Attack with our giant and our chariot. Put a counter on our giant so these don't trade. Missed on the Winota trigger. And GG. Easy first game against Mono Red.